Uncle Hoosh's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, a cool little kit for your Retro Flag Nest Pie case. Um, this is to do a safe power down, so safe shutdown. Um, it's a little kit. It's ten bucks American, free shipping. Um, it's it's twelve twenty nine Canadian if you're from Canada. Uh, this is from I believe it's shipping out of Ohio. Yes, it's shipping out of Ohio. And you get this little kit here. Uh, let me zoom in. So it looks like some resistors and uh, some wires. And there's a little PCB here. So basically what this does is allow you to um, modify your Nest Pie case and have a safe shutdown button using the buttons that are included with the Nest Pie case. So it says, uh, this is a kit of all the components needed to hack your retro flag Nest Pie case for safe shutdown. This hack is outlined here, and they will give you a step-by-step -step guide, which I'll show you uh, very soon. And when successfully completed, allows you to safely turn off your Pie with the power button on the case and the reset button to either reboot the Pie or exit a game back to retro Pie. So basically... Um, what this is what this is allowing you to do is instead of just cutting the power directly from your Nest Pie case, you'll now be able to safely shut down, um, as opposed to just cutting the power, which can um, corrupt your SD card. So I I did the little click here, and this page popped up, and it's telling you the parts list of everything you're going to get. So resistor, capacitor, diode, uh, little MOSFET switch. Um, you're going to need the case, obviously, and some jumper wires. Um, so the tools, you're going to need a soldering iron solder, X-Acto knife, wire cutter, wire stripper, small needle nose pliers, and a multimeter. So I'm just going to close that back out. And uh, basically, it shows you here, I mean, to disassemble and what to remove. Uh, step two, grab your wire cutters, cut the wires running from the USB power um, to the switch PCB shown in the video, shown in the photo, sorry. And then you just use your X-Acto knife and cut the traces, so on and so forth. Um, so I'm not sure if this is for everybody. Um, you might, It might be a little technical. Uh, I don't have a Nest Pie case yet. I do have a few ideas for my Pie, but the Nest Pie case is pretty nice and... Uh, I might get myself one now that I've found one um, for, for a fair price. But they do give you a step-by-step -step guide here. And I'm going to leave a link to the uh, this kit, the ad, um, in the description of this video. So it's basically showing you all the steps. Uh, 12, step 13, and then obviously we're, they're going to show you the GPIO uh, setup. as well as the script. So really, really cool. Uh, it's a really great idea because the Nest Pie case, that is the one flaw um, other than the Ethernet being on the front, uh, which is which is covered by the, by the flap, but it is still on the front when you open that up. But uh, definitely the power button. I would love to have my Nest Pie case, and, and if I do order one, I'm definitely going to get this kit. Uh, because I want I want to be able to power it on and off, um, as well as my son, he will be able to power it off if he uses it and not not have to worry about corrupting the SD card uh, if he forgets to shut down properly first. Um, so that's the kit there, guys. Like I said, the link will be in the description of the video. Go ahead and check it out. I mean, for ten bucks, I don't think you can go wrong. Um, and again, they're giving you the whole step by step guide here. Uh, and if anyone has used this, please post a comment. Um, let me know if it works and uh, how, on a scale maybe of one to ten, how hard it is to, uh, for someone to do. Um, I, I'm I do solder, but I'm not uh, I'm no expert by by any stretch of the imagination. But I'm pretty sure I could pull something like this off. Um, I I have a question for people out there as well. So I've found the Nest Pie Retro Flag 
uh, case, the actual case made by Retroflag, and it, it's going to cost me forty-five twenty-one uh, Canadian. So that seems pretty pricey to me. Um, now I found another one here, and this one would cost me six shipping plus twenty-three, so thirty bucks. Thirty bucks for this one, but it does not say Retroflag or Nest Pie case. <clears throat> So has anyone else gotten this model, the blank model? And if so, is it comparable? I mean, especially the internal components, are they comparable to the actual Nest Pie case? Uh, this to me seems like a knockoff of the Nest Pie, and I want to ensure that any of these internal, internal parts are all as good a quality as the real deal. But again, guys, uh, really appreciate you watching. Check this out. I think this is really cool. Anyone that has the Nest Pie case, I would recommend this for sure. Uh, anyone who, who's thinking about getting a Nest Pie case, I would recommend this as well to you um, to help, to help uh, fix the power and reset button issues um, that are currently with the case. So again, guys, thanks for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, have a good day.